for each show, I like to uh, run around, be silly, you know? So I'm getting, get all nervous and all of that. And my way of getting rid of nerves is I tend to get a bit silly. I run around, hug everyone, jump around. This show in particular is a real physical theatre piece, so it merges both acting and dance. It's not like a normal theatre show where it, uh, the audience just stays in one place. So we have different performances all around the theatre and instead of the audience just staying in one particular area, they walk around and see each different act. Up like in front of the foyer, it might be um, a boys dance and then they'll come down to some sweet singing. It's like so you can walk around instead of sitting on place and just getting bored yeah, up all yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool instead of just sitting around and watching the whole performance. Really good, really creative, and it's like mixing a lot of culture and everything in it. It's just a mixture of different emotions and energy, really, that they should be going through along the journey of Lima, the Lima um, underworld. With past pieces that I've had to play, is usually just requiring um, acting and learning how to put everyday life on stage and that relationship, whereas with this you have to learn how to emote, which is putting emotion within the movement and making the movement mean something. I want them to walk away from here and be like, whoa, the Lima. That was amazing, like I don't want them to walk away and be like, oh stink, that wasn't worth my five bucks, but I'll try my best to do what I can to make the audience happy. Something different, more brown people, so it's good, eh? Yeah. Never seen brown people do that kind of stuff. Uh, like the witch, the first bit. This is sparkle for the stories concerning about the Borussian people. I think the fusion of the way they did stuff is nice, you know, so you get the contemporary and then some of the Polynesian dancers thrown in, which I thought was pretty amazing. It was different, like, walking and being right in front of them, like, especially when they were in a room and we were surrounding them. I think it's because I've never really seen a lot of Tongan stuff. Yeah. Like, like it's me. more Samoan dominated, yeah. the arts world, I guess, so to see a Tongan song and hear it and yeah. Tongan words coming out was really nice.